Okay, and we're back, Zane. We're back and about to go into game two, which will be on Catalina, which is a more orthodox map. <laughs> Would be useful if I actually made uh, deranging a player rather than a spectator. He can spectate if he wants. I can't actually make him a player. The game just doesn't want to let me. There we go. And he's playing Terran this game? Yep, that'll be interesting. Switching to Zerg at the last second. Change it to yellow as well. Should we ban him for that? Some interesting mind games going down from Deranging. Deranging is ready. Wait, Raza isn't ready. He's still changing settings. Changing Not happy settings. with uh, the computer he's using. Yeah, Probably going to blame the first loss on the computer that he was using there. Yeah, of course, Raise the Beta has to play on a laptop with a strange keyboard and mouse that he's not used to. Yeah, absolutely. That's. Uh, but nonetheless, Razor Beta is expected to win the series. But he has a lot of power for him. He yeah, has he's got a lot to overcome. Back -back. Anyway, both players are ready, so we're going to get into game two on Catalina, which was originally going to be the starting map, but is uh, Razor Blader's map choice for game two. Uh -huh. And I think Razor is going to be a lot more comfortable on this map. Because well, it's a map he's been practicing on. Before, they were playing on Scrap Station, which nobody has played in about four years. Yeah, it's true. So, both players should know this map a bit better, I feel. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, this map is marginally Terran flavored, I believe, right? Oh, uh, yeah, it is. And in, on the left, we do have representing Imperial, the blue Terran, one of the greatest UK players ever made. It's Razorblader. And at the top, representing Cambridge, one of the scariest Zergs of the modern era, we do have Deranging. Deranging, uh, Razor Blade has only just noticed the octopus. That's impressive. Yeah, that's very impressive. It is part of the map feature. It's actually, I read it, that it's because the map is named after something that had an octopus in it. It's named after a Korean pop song. That's it, the pop song, and the video has an octopus in it. It's like, yeah, it has some like, sushi or something, I don't know. I don't know. You don't want to eat an octopus, though. No, it's scary. People in Korea eat octopus. Some, some of them eat octopus They live. eat octopi all live. the time. Like in the film Old Boy, you see a, an octopus being eaten live. And it was uh, actually eaten live when it was filmed. Yeah, yeah, true. True story. And we do have SCVs and drones in production at the moment. Two at a time for our Zerg player. He of might course, be cheating. Zerg can make two drones at a time because they do have the lava system. Whereas SCV it's going to only be just one at a time because Terran units can only building can only make one unit at a time. Yeah, Some interesting facts for you, Terran viewers listening to this. Doesn't part. have Chrono Boost as well. This and, is another fact. And Zerg is building a hatchery first, which only Zerg can build. That. Uh, um, is that actually true? Yeah, that's true. In Brood War, it's not true. Though. Does the Terran have to build like a supply depot before they can build a uh, command center? No, I said, I said that only. Never mind. Oh, never mind. It was a bad joke in the first place. It was a bad joke. <laughs> you confused me, sir. And the Overlord comes in this time, after the barracks is just about timed with the barracks is done being finished, rather than before it started. As Comparing it to the last map. A much more sensible map we have here. And deranging scouting in the correct direction first, uh -huh. breaking the convention of scouting clockwise first, which is very odd. No, no, Z Zerg always going to scout this way first. Well, because Zerg are a bit you, you want to send your overlord so that it can uh, chill on this cliff here near the natural. You don't want to chill like here, do you? You want to chill here, over the trees. This is a good point. Who doesn't like living in a forest? <laughs> exactly. Razor Blader uh, picking the wrong direction. He's, got, he's making a Reaper, so he will get in because Catalina, such a good Reaper map. Look at this place, look at this place, look at this place, look at this place. We said that last time and then no one made Reapers, but at you least can, this time we're going to get to You can see jump up reapers. any of them. Like, you, can, you can make like 40 Reapers and jump simultaneously all with all of them. Yeah. I don't think 40 would fit, maybe 14. No, like 1, 2, like 20, 30 at least. Uh, maybe we'll if you went around the bit around the other. Yeah, we'll test that later. Like, uh, like here, here, here. Coming to the here, Imperial here. Starcraft Society And the Reaper YouTube not channel. jumping, goes straight up the ramp, and he sees... Why, why make a Reaper if you're just going to walk up the ramp? Because it's a good choice. Some good micro coming from Deranging, not losing a drone as of yet. And uh, Razor, Blader, Razor Blade has given up already. I guess he doesn't want a micro with the, the strange mouse that he has. <laughs> yeah, he just can't be asked today, <coughs> it seems. He could easily have got a kill there. He but, could have um, got three, four kills. He's just going to shoot the hatchery instead. I mean, why try and kill well, drones? 
It's only up, it's and a 14 here comes the queen, so he's gonna have to leave now. Well, the hatchery is now 1486 health, which is like, uh, gonna mean that it takes less than range shots to kill later in the game. Not a prime number. But it could uh, regenerate then. Very strange wall setup coming on Razor Bay there. I think that was. Uh, is that a mistake? I don't know. I think so. Doesn't and, look intentional. And the bunker coming down very far in. He doesn't want to build build the bunker near the ramp. He doesn't want is to there walk. a reason why you would build it that far back? Um, it's, it's safer in some ways and less safer. I guess it's safer for any all ends which will happen in the next minute or two, but it's less safe against any all ends that happen in the few minutes after that. So I guess he saw the speed, and that's why uh, that's why he's worried. Metabolic boost <coughs> just about to finish up, as you mentioned that. Mm -hmm. And actually, deranging has not put anything back into gas for a while, so he's not going to make any banging nest to go for a roast roll in any time soon. Nope, just uh, getting that speed boost, and then. And the uh, Reaper is delaying the third, but all in the process. Stupidly, for no real reason whatsoever. Yeah, that that Reaper was a hero though. He'll never be forgotten. Long live the Reaper. And uh, yeah, another so one, one, one set up for things Razor look, Things look quite similar to the last game for Razor Blade. Yeah. Land for deranging actually. Hopefully you can stick it in the late game this time if the game does go long again to the sort of uh, mutilisk baneling mix. Well, yeah, that he, he is macro beast. Deranging seems to favour. And uh, yeah, just as last game, the Hellions are going to push out and try and get, um, get map control. But remember, this at this point in the game, uh, there weren't these queens this far forward. Like, in, on this map, the queens can help defend this third base way earlier than they could in the last one. So, Drangy doesn't have a lot easier to time to defend the queens. But even then, yeah, he, he still tumors. kills a creep tumor, which is really good. And now he's going to go around the long way to the third and maybe kill a few lings as well, yeah. which would be nice. There's a little pocket over here. There we go. Kills a and then, the Banshee uh, on the way, identical, and there's another creep tumor. Not bad yeah. at all, actually. Denying the creep going to the third, gonna make it harder to defend that. Forcing more energy from that queen. Uh-huh, and... There's not actually that many lings out. Or roaches? There's no... There's, is there even a roach warren? Uh, I don't believe so, no. no he's actually going for no... Last game he relied platform. on the roach warren to fend off these Hellions. He's gonna have a tougher round at this time then without it, because uh, there's more Hellions still on the way now. Yeah. Razor Blade are putting on the heat this game. I and like that one. That was good. That was good. Barely loses uh, the Hellion. That's a shame. Just a couple more on low health. And Banshee, what's it doing? Well. Banshee is uh, good. That's wow. Good. Very uncharacteristic Miss Micro from Razor Blade. Hey, that was kind of weak. Um, he does have another Banshee on the way. Still no cloak, mind you. Mm -hmm. And the Lair's nearly done. Uh, there's an okay amount of gas, but not a bit of oh, Hiling on oh. the Hellions, no, no, no Hellions, Hellions actually die, die again. So Maybe you should send some of the weak ones home to get repaired, I don't uh, know. I mean, it's not, there's not much... You're not going to do much with yeah. them later on, is it? So you kind of just want to use them now. But you can uh, them back you don't want to be careful, hard. obviously. It's a counter attack. Oh, he needs to lift the depot, lift the depot! No, he does not lift it in time. But, I mean, there's not too many links in the main. There's not too many, but he has he to more than enough time. He has to react. He has to react at all. Is he ever going to react? Oh, and the top of the Oh, that's it. That's, that's a lot of SCDs to lose at this stage in the game. 40. That's, um, that's really bad, thing. Yeah, the Hellions forced them all the way back just to defend this. All he had to do was press R or U. I guess that's the harder and not used to the mouse, but still, he... I think he had enough of this. More than enough time to, to do that. But I mean, even Maru has lost to things like this. This is true. This is true. Maru lost I, uh, IEM finals because he lost $10,000 because he wanted to save 100 minerals. He didn't finish the wall, he paid the price. <laughs> 100 minerals are worth more than $100,000, so we do know the exchange rate That's for minerals is very high. Yeah, especially in the current economic climate. Yep. And the fourth base going down with very deranging, who is. Climate. Very far ahead in supply and especially in worker supply. Razor Blade doesn't need a miracle to make it out of this game. Yeah, I don't know how, what he's going to do here. He has 29 uh, it's, it's Flash around. I don't Flash. know. Flash! You... Flash! Flash! No, he left. Oh, Flash is not here. He cannot take over and win this game, unfortunately. Yeah, he went to Nando's, so we won't be seeing Flash today. Um, but maybe he'll be playing later. 
Maybe, maybe. Who's going to say? There are three more series no, after this one. I, I do think that um, the person most to blame for this loss is actually Scott Lee. Yeah, I agree. Um, if Scott Lee had been here to support his friend, his loyal comrade, his brother, <laughs> then perhaps this wouldn't have happened. His but brother would The Hellions are going to come in and take a few drums out, but. And then horribly die. They're going to escape. At this stage, the Hellions aren't really worth that much. Um. Razor Vader is he's still in this game actually. He's still in this game. Getting third will allow him to, you know, produce Cersei V's a bit quicker and of course get many, many mules. He can take this game as long as his micro is on point. Uh, which it hasn't been so far. Uh, but yeah, he's struggling with equipment, I think, so it's hardly surprising that his micro yeah, hasn't been but, up to scratch. But if he if he steps it up and gets his micro on point, he can take a good fight and he'll be back in this. That so. is the nature of the Marine. Indeed it is. Uh, Mutalists waiting to go into the main. No missiles. There's a, oh, there is a missile turret. turret. Yeah, that's okay. That's good. I mean, there's not a... There's a bunch of supply blocks. Uh, Parrots. So. I mean, there's not a catastrophic amount of, mar um, of Mutalists. I mean, as there's five joined... The catastrophic thing about this is... The, uh, the Marines are stemming all the way back. Oh. <coughs> are these Mutalists going to get any more damage done? They're going to take another... The ball. Oh, hello. Oh. That's what you want. Nice timing but for I mean, door to pop now out. the the third is vulnerable. These this tank's vulnerable. I mean, there's two these two mines here. But deranging is he gonna? Oh, he, he recognizes it. Oh, that's there. Open. Yeah. Three, three needs, uh, he needs to, to. Oh, the, the overseer is gonna come down. But with the widow mine trigger. The widow mine's not gonna trigger. He gets a free tank and then goes off to go harry the third that as tank well. Was very free. More free units. It looks like Terran's going to make free units this game. And, oh, Drenji taking a 50 supply lead. He's 40 supply, uh, 40 of that supply roughly is in workers. So this army is just going to get bigger and bigger. The differential is going to just increase. I'm just trying to think uh, outside of calling Flash what Razor Vader can do to win this game. Well, maybe his opponent will disconnect and he'll get a free win. Yeah, that happened once, actually, in, uh, in the IPL finals, uh, during, when they played GSTL, uh, Spartan beat Marine King, but because the game disconnected in the, at the very end, yeah, that's not what you did want. a regain. Oh, well, that doesn't, that's not, not the same, is it? Well, Spartan won, and they regain. I mean, Razor Vader could do with a regain right now. Yeah, so... This is, uh, this, this is might the be last stand. And he's leaving. This might be GG. It's either a GG or a rage quit. But it might be, so it might be GG. I, uh, let's have a look how this goes. Uh, that's, that's a lot of the, uh, They're killing everything. Uh, Come on, sir. Uh, oh, wait, I think it's back. The command says it's not survived. Nope. Nothing survived. The mine gets some good hits, but it doesn't matter. Well, that sword doesn't mean that sword. Which is very nice. Not, not when you're this long. Not when you're 100. Hundreds of five times one of the best third players. And it was a GG. He didn't rage quit. So GG. there we have it. A 2 0 for Deranging and Deranging and Cambridge. Deranging, Deranging and Cambridge are tied one to one. No, they beat out Imperials Razor Bladen. Yeah, they did. What a surprise. That's a shock upset. A huge upset. Huh. We'll have to we'll have to get the winner over for a quick interview. Yeah. Shall we go grab Deranging? Yeah. Let's uh, someone go grab him for us, and then we'll have a quick winner's interview and uh, get his opinion on those matches. Um, I'll be interested to hear what he has to say about the scrap station match. Yeah, like whether he knew that Razor Bay knew that he knew about the, the island. I think he knew. Otherwise, why would he have known that he should have done it? But if, you, if he knew that, then why did he do it in the first place? You need a winner's interview, my friend. You need a winner's interview. Yeah, come, here, come over here to the microphone so that people on the stream can hear you. And scoot right up. Hello. So yeah, we just wanted to ask you a few questions. So, yeah, How do you feel is, beating Razor Blader? I feel, feel amazing, you know. It's been three years in the making. Three years in the making? Three years in the making. After three years, you finally got revenge. Um, Definitely. Tell us about Scrap Station. Tell us about your history did, on did, Scrap did Station. Did you know he was going to go for the island? Well, uh, so you always think he's going to go for the Scrap Station. You always have to scout the island. So, <laughs> I mean, what happened the last time you played on Scrap Station? Well, last time I think we played on Scrap Station, I six pulled him. This was like... What was it called? Uh, HMV Game of Ace, some sort of tournament yeah, uh -huh. in. I can't remember if it was 2011 or something. I think it was 2011. Maybe 2012. But Early Wings of Liberty. And I 6 pulled him. And he, he lifted off to the island and beat me. 
Yeah, and you finally got revenge. You finally, finally put him in his place. Not, feels, not, feel vindicated. Not yeah. just Wano, you then took it to him in game two as well. On Catalina. On Catalina, which, which was his pick. Yeah, how, how does it feel to beat him on his own map pick? Pretty good, it's got an octopus in the middle. Yeah, yeah, he didn't it know about the much octopus. Better. No, you, you, winning and an octopus, but the octopus is basically a zerg creature. Especially anyway. when you hear the, the theme song for the map as well. Is a theme song? Yeah, the map is named after a song. A uh, Korean pop song. Yeah, so that has an out. octopus in the video. I might have to check out. You should the video check now. it out definitely, yeah. especially. Uh, I mean, if you're watching the stream, you could you, you're probably listening to it now, right? Yeah, <laughs> definitely, they must be. Anyway, so yeah, congratulations for tying the series up 1-1 one, one to Cambridge and Imperial. So, uh, and uh, we could be seeing you for the ace match, I believe, right? I think so, yeah. If it does go to the ace match. You are uh, yeah. the ace player for Cambridge. Very well done. Yeah. Congratulations. Uh, thank you. Good luck. Have fun. All right, cool. So that wraps it up for this series. We'll get the next two players in and take a quick break before we carry on with the show. Match between Imperial and Cambridge and UCL. Who, no who, who didn't submit any players. Yeah. Well, let's not talk about that. <laughs>